creating an investment strategy is probably one of the most fun things that I get to do. And the most important thing to do is to understand your objective. Like, what are you trying to accomplish? And that might seem easy. I'm investing money to make money. Okay, that's true. But, you know, are you investing money so that you want to get paid in seven years, 10 years, 20 years? The time frame is very different. And how you're going to set your strategy is very different based on that. Do you want to take a lot of risk or a little bit of risk? Typically, the way it works is the more risk you make or the, the more risk you take, the higher the potential for return but also the higher the potential for loss. If you want to take a more conservative strategy, you know, I want to make 5% over 10 years, that's a little more conservative. Your risk of making a lot of money is less, but your risk of losing money is less. So it really depends on who you are as an investor. What's your time period like? How much risk are you willing to take? Do you want to take? Um, and then how much time do you want to spend managing this? Like, do you want a portfolio that you have to care and feed every day? Or do you want a portfolio that runs itself? There's different instruments depending on what you're looking for. One of my favorite stories, uh, you know, kids are, are sort of a, a product of their parents, right? And so uh, as a mother, when I was working in investments and financial services and all that, some of that financial acumen and focus naturally rubbed off on my kids. And I can remember one of my sons when he was about 10 years old, and this is back in the days when Pokemon cards were everything, right? And I was listening to him talk with one of his friends one day, and they were trading Pokemon cards. And my son actually said, I don't trade Pokemon cards. I trade mutual funds. And I thought, oh, dear, he's 10 years old. What have I created here? But you know, the thing about it is we did some of that at home. Like we would create what I would call ghost investment accounts. You can do that. Like if you want to practice and play with this, use a tool like Excel or something that's really easy that's provided by your school. Pick some investments. Just go online. Look at what stock prices are. Do the research on the companies. What do they do? Do they do something that I'm interested in? Um, if it's a product or service that I use every day, maybe it's Gap, maybe it's Target, whatever it is, take a look, get interested in the company, study them, and put together your own portfolio, and then track your progress over time. You're becoming an investor. You don't need real money to do this. You can practice right now.